Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Last time, we did a few side quests we can do with the Go Mask of Truth. And in this part, we're gonna do some more side quests that um, become readily available after we complete the first temple. Now, of course, we're going to do the usual things that I always forget to do, but I should always do. Uh, is... And that would be playing the inverted Song of Time, so that I can slow time down. And I don't mean to start up the camera, I only meant to hit the bunny hood. The... what we're actually gonna tackle today are the shooter... shooting gallery stuff, and as we climb up those stairs, we can just see it right there. The town shooting gallery. Now, as... like I mentioned... when we were doing... Koomi's target shooting game... I mentioned how terrible it is to do the... Arrow controls in this game. Specifically the N64 version. I have no problem with the 3DS version. Because you can always change it. The thing is. Is that. Like I said before. This game has the up and down. Movement inverted. And that could be a problem. Up and down movement inverted. Is great when you're playing. Like third person. Pilot games. Like. It's good when you have when you're moving around and you have a constant forward momentum. That way, it kind of kind of like when you're um, swimming or when you're being a pilot. I'm okay with the up and down being inverted, but the problem is is that the arrows in this game is unless you are L targeting, in which case it doesn't even matter. You're using first person, which is just Awkward to me. And I just remembered that I have to withdraw... Rupees. But the bright side about this is that... With this particular shooting game... You don't really need to use the up and down... Controls. You really just need to focus on moving left and right. Which makes it much more easier to maintain. Now I believe I need to get... 20 rupees to play this game, but I want to get a hundred. Just in case. Yay, for disrupting the economy. By going back in time and stealing from other people's bank accounts, claiming that it was ours, because in re but in reality, we don't even make that deposit until the future. Okay, anyways. You don't have to worry about if you have arrows or not, because they'll provide you with arrows if your quiver is empty. Anyways, let's go ahead, and Manic, this guy looks a lot like Tingle's father. If you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? Game is 20 rupees. Okay. I was right, 20 rupees. Alright, Sonny, the rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the, the time limit. By red ones, he means Octo Rocks, of course. If you had a blue one, you lose time. So watch out. You can use as many arrows as you like. Press B to shoot them. Our score is 39. So let's try to get 40. I'll go ahead and play the first one normally, and if I uh, don't get it perfect on the first try, I'll speed up the second two tries, and then afterward I'll just cut it. And I already lost. Wow. Shoot, well, I'm doing poorly. Oh, 
ones. Back in front one. And shoot. Okay, next one's gonna be sped up, like I said. But the pattern is thankfully the same, so if you can get it close. Thankfully the pattern is the same, so if you can naturally keep doing this to get practice. <laughs> so long as you have enough rupees. Alright, I'm speeding up the next two and then cutting out afterward. <laughs> What do you know, I just barely won. I swear, when he says, so long as you have enough rupees, that was an intentional reference to the Zelda CDI games. You are acknowledging their existence. Despite how terrible they are. Anyways, you get a large quiver for winning the first time. However, you need to play a second time and you'll get an even better reward. So, I'll just cut until that happens. I'll just wait out my previous score. That's a new record, here you go. What? What? Finally! Guys, that took me about an 45 minutes to do. Yeah, it is tough. Now, apparently you're supposed to get a perfect score in order to get your piece of heart. There we go. Never want to play again. Unfortunately, guess what I'm gonna do, guys? An even tougher one in this game. Aren't I enthusiastic? Yeah. This one I'm about to cover is gonna be a bit more difficult. And it's gonna play a bit differently. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead, withdraw my rupees, and... I'll actually meet you where we need to go, and I just ran right past the bank. Move, bomber kid! Guys, if you think that I'm gonna- that I had a tough time with the Clogtown shooting gallery, you're completely right. 
Let's see how well I'm gonna do in the swamp shooting gallery. Oh boy. Yeah, if you take this alternative path, you'll end up here. Please feel free to take our dry swing water home with you. Okay, whatever. Interestingly enough, there is actually a ramp in here, which, instead of this platform, this ramp would um, have interesting effects in the Japanese version. It's currently unknown why they removed it in the um, releases outside of Japan. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to this man right here. Hi, mate. How are you? Wanna play? One game's 20 rupees. Okay. The rules, dud, me game, are a piece of cake. Shoot for your targets from top of the platforms. You're gonna hit them all. That's all there is to it. And basically what he's saying is that uh, we have to hunt animals through here. We have to shoot live targets. Um, different targets will yield different results, such as the... Gways, I believe the Gways give 20 points while these Deku Strubs give 20. And of course, the new enemy Wolfles will appear as well. And I'll go into more detail of what Wolfles are like when we actually encounter them in battle. You can actually encounter them in battle here at the swamp, but only at night time. Anyways, let's give it a try. And yeah, inverted up and down controls. This is going to be fun. And make sure to hit those stick of scrubs over there. And Oh man, I can't hit that boy. There we go. As soon as you hear that Wolfles, and yes, that wolf wolfles are. Come on, I hear the guys. Oh, they came up from the other side. If you can hit the one in the front, just keep aiming there. And I shoot. I hear a guy, you're coming back. At least they circle around. Here another Wolfles. This one is gonna run up to the top and awesome! Managed to get it just before it runs away. Come on, Gwaze, Gwaze! And I hate these Gwaze. You have to score a certain amount of points before you can get the reward. There's two rewards, just like at the clock down one. Gonna try a little harder, mate. Ah, uh, this time I'm not gonna speed up any portions, I'm because that's pretty much the entire game right there. So, like I said, like the previous ones, the pattern does not change, but that's pretty much the goal. The only hard trick is making sure you get those Deku scrubs that are up in the branches. Alright, cutting until I get the first prize. And, actually, what is the first prize? How many points do you actually have to get? Actually, I'll show it on the screen right now. The scores you have to get for both prizes, by the way. Alright. Gonna cut it? Now. Incidentally enough, I got a perfect score. Nice. Oh, well, that was pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go. Take this, mate. And he'll upgrade our quiver once again, making it the largest quiver. And no, you can't go. You can't go straight here to get the largest quiver upgrade. 
it'll just bring the whatever quiver you got up to the next arrow. So now we have the maximum, we can carry the maximum amount of arrows. I was about to say bombs, but we haven't gotten the maximum size bomb bag yet. But here's the problem. We gotta play that game again if we want to get an even better prize. So, I'll do just that. I'm going to admit to you guys, after two hours of doing this, you wouldn't think that I would... I never thought that I would actually do it. Yes, it took me two hours to do it this time. I don't even know how I managed to do it the first time. So if you do it with more than six seconds left on the clock, you'll also get this piece of heart. Oh, I'll tell your friend, my friends, just how terrible this place is. Oh, jeez. That is by... I've played through this game before. Then, and in this, my opinion, honest opinion, this is the most difficult piece of heart to get in the entire game. <sighs> Taking two hours just to get to it? Okay, I get it. I suck, but... <laughs> I suck at this game. Aim, I suck at target shooting games, but... Hey. I'm just glad that I got it. If you like this video, please go ahead, leave behind a like. Comment what you think. I, wonder, I honestly wonder how you guys think about these mini games if you had an easy time easier time with them than I do if so great and if you want but if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys next video